Hey guys, if you watched my previous episode, you already know that I needed to clone myself because I had a lot of work to do. And I still have a lot of work to do, so because of that, today's episode will be presented to you by my clone. Right, you can come now. And see you guys later. Bye bye. Thank you. Nice, my first episode. <laughs>Hey guys, it's Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Actually guys, I think that that Nemanja who left you moments ago, I think that he's the clone and I am the original one. And please don't tell him that because here in the studio, it's complete mess. We don't know who is the original one, who is the copy, because how the heck we should know that because we look the same, we know everything the same and basically it doesn't matter. But what matters is that today I will show you how you can create those star trails in Photoshop just from one, one exposure. So without further ado, let the fun begin. Right guys, as you can see here, we have a night sky photo and we will create that interesting star trails effect just from this one photo. So to do that, first thing that I like to do is to separate background from foreground. So we need to choose some of the selection methods. I will use a quick selection tool and just quickly select the foreground, press Control command J and I have it on a separate layer. So I'll name this foreground and that's it. Now I will show you what is the basic principle behind this technique and then we will create an action to speed up the process and to make everything much easier. So first thing that we need to do is to make a copy of the background layer. Press Control command J and then put that copy into light and blending mode. If you're not familiar with the blending modes, you can watch my tutorial about all of them right here. Okay, if we put the layer into light and blending mode, the light and blending mode will compare those two layers and it will show only the lighter pixels in between them. So now they're completely the same because they look the same. But if you press Control command T and start rotating that, we can see only the stars because the stars are the brightest pixels on the image here. Okay, and we need to rotate this just a little bit, then make a copy of that, rotate just a little bit, another copy, rotate just a little bit, and that's the basic principle behind this technique. So, to make this everything much easier and faster, we will create an action for that. Let's press escape, and let's delete this background layer and start playing with the action. Let's go to action panel, and I will first create a new group that I will name it stars, for example and then I will create a new action inside that group and I will name it star trails number one. Okay, and the record button is pressed automatically. So let's record this one step and then with that, with that action we will repeat it as much time as we need it. Okay, first we need to duplicate the layer. Press Control command J and that's it. Now we need to put it into light and blending mode and then we need to rotate it a little bit. So press Control command T to enter the transform tool. And now at the top here, you have this angle icon and we will choose the angle. The angle needs to be really small, like 0.1 or even 0.05, depends of the image resolution and uh, the space between those stars. But you will see experiment if you put a little bit higher angle, then you will have higher, uh, bigger gap between the stars. I don't want to have a gap between the stars, so I'll put maybe 0.05 for this image and I will press OK and that's all you need to do. Now press stop and go here and press play button as many times as needed to create that crazy effect. You will see right now I'll press one, two, three and maybe something around 50 times, even 100 times sometimes will be really good for that. One thing that I didn't tell you is that you can choose a rotation point. The point all around all the stars will rotate around. So I will show you that in a second just to press this few more times. And this is, as you can see, 58. Let's use 60 layers. Now that we are done with that, we can select all of them. Let's go all the way down below. And by holding shift, click to the last layer and then press Control command e to merge them into one and then we can press Control command t and make this a little bit not so much just a little bit bigger like that and we are done as you can see guys we have those crazy star trails 
For you guys, and now I will show you how you can change the rotation point to make this effect a little bit more interesting. So to do that, we first need to delete the effect. We don't need it anymore. And let's go from the beginning. I will just make a new layer, press Ctrl Command J, and then go to that transform current layer option and I will delete it. Okay, and I will press record button again, press Ctrl Command T and just change the rotation point. You can do that in the first time that you're creating an action, but if you want to change it later to experiment, this is the way how you can do it. So let's put a rotation point right here, why not? And then, of course, we need to choose the angle again, 0 0.05 and just go here and press OK. And that's it. Now let's press stop, delete this layer and start from the beginning. Let's go to start rails 01 and press this play button 50 times approximately. And as you can see, the stars are rotating around that point that we made it. And this is the effect that we have now. All right, guys, and now I'll show you another crazy effect that you can achieve with this star trails technique. So let's do it. All right, let's choose another photo just to look into something else. And as you can see here, I already extracted foreground from a background and we have exactly the same situation that we had before. So we will go to the background and we will record a new action. Let's create a new action button here and let's name it star trails number two. Number two, okay. And let's start from scratch. Press Control Command J to make a copy, then put that copy into light and blending mode press Control command T and again, choose a rotation point. This time I will choose rotation point somewhere here. And then I will use the same angle 0 0.05, but I will go right here and click this chain icon between the width and the height. And I will make each copy a little bit smaller. I will make smaller, maybe 99.8% just a touch smaller and you will see the difference in this kind of effect. Just press OK right here and press stop. And that's it. Now let's go to start trails number two and press the play button a few more times, 50 or so, maybe even more. But you can see this is completely different effect and I like this kind of effect. It's really, really interesting. Everything it's going into that point and looks really fun. Okay, and I think this is enough, 60, 60 copies for this, it's enough. Let's go all the way down and merge everything together by pressing Control Command E. And now what we can do, because we have completely mess right here, we can go and just turn on our foreground and that's it. Of course, we can make this a little bit bigger just to cover those edges, just a little bit and that's it guys. Now we can go and merge everything together. Shift Control Alt or Shift Command Option E on a Mac. Go to filter, camera row and play with the colors. Play with anything you want. I will add a little bit of the haze here. Maybe lower the shadows and the blacks. Add a little bit of the contrast. We can add even the vignette. We can add some split toning effect if we want. Maybe some greenish to the stars and so on and so on of course. There are a lot of options. I will press OK. So before and after, just a little bit different look. You can add a gradient to have a sky in a different colors and that's it. This is another way how you can create this great Star Trails effect. Right guys, but what about if we have a nice photo that we love the foreground, but the sky is not good enough for this technique. Maybe there are a lot of clouds, maybe the stars are not visible enough and so on and so forth. Then we need to use another sky photo for this. So let me show you how we can do that. Okay, let's go to another photo, for example, this one. And first thing that we need to do is to separate foreground from the background. And this will be a really quick and sloppy job just for this example. I will not do this precisely, just like that. And I think this is pretty much okay for this technique. I'll press Control Command J to have that separation between the background and the foreground. And now we need to choose another photo for the sky. I will use this one, just a clear sky with the stars. I will copy this and paste it right here. And then I will move it up. Press Control Command T to 
make it a little bit bigger and that's it guys now we need to use this photo with one of our uh, action skier here and just play with that and as you can see we already have even more interesting photo with this crazy star trails effect and i will stop right here you got a point now you can merge everything together and then colorize however you want and do whatever you want with this Right guys, that's it for today. I really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learned something new out of it. Now you can go and play with some other settings in that transform panel. Maybe you don't want to add rotation, maybe you just want to decrease uh, width and height and then you will get completely different results. Or be creative, experiment, do whatever you want, have fun with this effect and you will get really nice results using this technique. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. And if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description and of course you will get some things in return. Subscribe if you're not already, ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.